Hi guys, I'm Pretty Nerdy Girl and I am back with a brand new interior design video. I really gotta figure out what I'm gonna call every episode of the series. But yeah, this is for my Blanc Modern Townhouses uh, inspired series. And basically what I'm doing now is designing the inside of apartment A, which is the apartment on the far most left. And the theme of this build that I came up with as I was building was that I wanted to do a very red designed townhouse for a couple in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, what have you, um, but an older couple that doesn't have any kids, whether because they chose not to have any or because they have moved out and are in college or starting their own families, but they wanted a very swink townhouse that they could live in and have it be all nice and tidy, have everything separated by levels, and are just thoroughly enjoying the heck out of it. My biggest struggle, I think, here was just trying to find knickknacks and artwork and all sorts of stuff that were red themed to go with what I was designing because Sims doesn't actually come with a ton of clutter and not a very big variety to where when you're doing a build like this, you're able to um, kind of really make every single house unique. So I will say that I did cheat. The items on the mantle are not 100% base game stuff. Some of them are custom content, but I will make sure to link them in the description down below. There's only a few that I downloaded um, and it was just out of pure necessity. I might do some more, but so far I haven't found too much of what I wanted. I, you know, it's just, I just want a lot of pictures because I like to have family photos everywhere. I'm more of a photograph type person, but that's just me. And the second level is having the bigger room as the guest room. And I, I made this very like red and yellow, uh, calm, serene stay for any guests that they have that are going to be hanging out overnight and need a place to crash. Very simple. And then the smaller of the two upstairs bedrooms I have turned into um, the office. And as you can see here, my struggle with these trees continues to plague me, even throughout this. Ugh. But I prevailed and I won. And like I said in the other video, I did move them. I did move the entire building back a little bit just so I could get the trees that I wanted. So this is the office space. The... Again, you can see my circle here with all of the clutter because you have these shelves and you have all this clutter and they don't necessarily fit on the shelves like you think you're supposed to. And there's not a way that I know of that you can filter them by things that can go on shelves and things that can't go on shelves. And I have struggles, but it's okay because I turned the master suite into this super cool chill space um, for the couple to come up and sleep in. They have a nice big rug to enjoy underneath their bed and then a nice little reading nook to retire at the end of the evening. And I realized that I did a really cool wall treatment to the bathroom here and I did not do that to the other room or to the other apartments. So that's gonna be another note for me before I upload this to the gallery. If you're looking for any of my builds on the gallery, just be sure to use uh, Pretty Nerdy Girl or Pretty Nerdy Girl Games. Those are the tags that I put on both of them and they should be able to come up. But as always, you can only, you can find me in the gallery under Pretty Nerdy Girl, which is my username. Yeah, that's all for today. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and let me know what color you would have chosen for the first apartment. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.